So this is a huge W for EA Sports. I don't usually get on here and, you know, give them the praises, but gotta give them the praises. If you go on to your strategy items right now, you will see auction this item and you can sell these strategy items. So they brought back the ability to sell um, strategy items into the game, which is a W for EA Sports. As you can see, I could sell this right here for 4,000 coins. I'm not going to, but you can. The reason why I'm not going to is if they ever take it out of the game again. I don't want to. Um, but yeah, you could sell even the strategy card you get for <clears throat> the ones that EA Sports gives you, like the chilled out ones, the Campus Hero ones. You can sell all of these. So, like, let's say, for example, you quick sold them at one point and someone's still starting to sell them, you can buy them back. Because you can quick sell these as well. Wait, hold up. No, not these ones. Once the promo's gone, you can actually quick sell it. So, for example, chilled out, I can quick sell for a thousand coins or I can actually sell in the auction house. So, that is a huge major W. You can also sell playbooks again. So, these are now back on the auction house as well. Um, which again, like I said, very nice because if you're trying to get certain playbooks, it's almost impossible. Well, as you know, playbooks, coaches, stadiums are really easy through sets and stuff. Strategy cards are nearly impossible to get unless you go through the auction house. Because you have to complete the set, you get a random strategy card that you do not get to choose what you want. And if you want a certain one, you gotta keep re-rolling it over and over again. And eventually, you might get lucky enough to actually get the one that you wanted. So, thank you EA Sports for bringing this back. Because I know the reason why they took this away was because people were spending or selling and buying coins. And they were using these as methods to do that. But I think the community, for the most part, gave enough outrage that it was like, Hey, listen, we don't care. If you guys are losing money off of this, we need these back. Like, this needs to come back because you you can't really use strategy cards at that point. Like, okay, if I want to use strategy cards, I had to re-roll the same exact set a billion times. Now, EA Sports could have made this very easy by simply just giving us sets that gave us, you know, like a fantasy pack of different strategy cards. But instead, they didn't. So, we have a cool set right here. Go down here, and we have the Epic Strategy Item, Rare Strategy Item, and Uncommon Strategy Item. There is nothing here that gives you a fantasy pack of like what strategy item you want. Which makes no sense because all quick sell for the same coins anyway. But right here it says exchange two rare ones to receive one random Epic Strategy Item. Same thing with this one. Same thing with the other one. So... They could have just combated all this by just giving us a set that gave us fantasy pack of all the strategy items. Would make the whole process a lot simpler, but you know what? If they just want to bring back the ability to sell them, I'm actually pretty damn happy with that. And that's actually a huge W for EA Sports. Like, at least for this, you have this ability right here, which is three gold cards. Get you a base uh, coach fantasy pack, a base stadium, or a base playbook so at least you have the ability to choose whatever you want so them not letting us buy and sell these not really that big of a deal right you can just go to sets get it done not a big deal alternate playbooks not a big deal it's in the sets this crap right here thank you ea sports because you actually made the biggest w move of the year right now because <laughs> Maybe it's just me, and maybe I'm a very much alone in this camp. I was just so freaking annoyed by the fact that I could not buy or sell these. Because, again, there are certain theme teams I do, or certain thing videos I make. I like to have the ability to add certain boost to those cards. So, like, for example, a new card comes out, and I want to show a review of it. Well, I want to max it out as much as possible. I do a theme team around that card. I can't max it out as much, right? I get a strategy item that gets plus two, plus three to zone coverage, plus three to throw power, whatever. Now I can max it out, right? And that now gives me the ability, again, to go in the auction house. And if I want to get a strategy card item, I'm going to be able to. And the more people post these up, the more we're going to be able to kind of get somewhat back to normal. So again, like I said, listen, I didn't create a big fuss. 
about them taking it out of the game? I did. At the end of the day, you know, that's just a part of Madden. And if they took it out of the game, we're going to have to figure out ways to go about things. Or, again, for I think a lot of people, myself included here, just not use strategy card items anymore. Well, no longer is that a problem. So, shout out to EA Sports. Again, like I said, listen, they're going to take it. If they're going to give us a W, I'm going to give them their props, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.